No one knows what happened before we got there, but I look normal. For me, I guess the challenge was feeling lonely. What if I look at that as a gift? If you have asked for healing, and you've asked many times, and God has not healed you yet, being sick or having major lifelong health issues is never easy, but when you add that on top of being a mother, it makes it a lot more difficult. And in this video, I get to interview an incredible friend of mine that has struggled with major health issues most of her life, and she's also a mother. The interesting story about Irma is we have mutual friends, but we never met, and she got to know me through this YouTube channel. She reached out to me, we met up, and we hit it off, and she has been a great inspiration in my life. Let me just say, she's been through a lot and struggles with a lot with her health. She didn't elaborate on it too much but I will just vouch for her it's hard it's really hard but her attitude is such a blessing what is it about being around people that do not let their circumstances in life get them down and they are such grateful thankful people that have been through hard times and have just learned how to overcome their circumstances radiate Christ through their life and be grateful you'll quickly see what I mean once you watch the interview she's an incredible person and I'm so thankful that she agreed to come on once again it was a shorter interview but definitely packs a punch. She's such a blessing. You have had a lot of health problems, you do. So if you wanna just quickly kind of describe what your health problems are and how it, whatever you feel comfortable sharing, but how it affects your everyday life and then how that has affected you during pregnancy and as a mom. And then the last thing I guess is what would your encouragement be to other people that are struggling with health issues and being a mother and yeah. so on. So. So that, the challenges that I have um, in being a mom and being a good mom, I feel like um, is, yeah, just that, like health issues that we find ourselves with. And mine is um, diabetes, type one diabetes and PCOS. And with PCOS comes fatigue, or it can anyway. And with each pregnancy, was very hard um, for diabetes. For me, I guess the challenge was feeling lonely mm -hmm. and feeling like, you know, when I when I show up to a gathering, whether it's a lot of friends or even at church, mm -hmm. no one knows what happened before we got there. Mm -hmm. And I have a working body that works just like anyone else's. Um, and on the just outside, just looking on the outside. Right. But behind the scenes, I have a lot of things that need to um, go well mm -hmm. if um, I want to feel good. And so that has been the challenge of feeling like I have, you know, two conditions, but I look normal. Right. And it can be a blessing and kind of a yeah. curse in some ways because... It's a hidden disability. That, it is. Yeah. yeah. So that has been lonely. Uh, the nice thing about it, though, with that is... I have a working body, like I said, just I have legs, I have arms, I have a mind, and I have, God has given me the ability to use them. And lately I've just been thinking how, like, I'm blessed with these things that he's given me, not because of anything that I did to earn them, but since he's given me arms and legs to exercise, to to run, to walk, and to make meals for my family. What if I look at that as a gift in itself and say, you know what, I'm given those things and I can actually use my legs to walk and to manage my diabetes better. And same with eating. I can, you know, with diabetes too, it's um, a lot with your diet and I can use the mind that God has given me to make good choices mm -hmm. and basically control the things that you can control and let go of the things you can't. So that has been a challenge too, but something I am looking into 2023 as a new vigor in my soul to do that well in spite of the challenges. Um, be a bearer of God's image and the challenges that I'm dealing with. So I forget what else the question, what other question yeah, was that's with great. that. Um, um, I was just, what would be your um, inspiration or advice to people that are going through health issues that mm -hmm. maybe others don't understand or yeah. just being a mom through all that? And yeah, um, I would say leaning into God and just looking to his word for just that fulfillment and also 
that is where you're going to find your strength. No matter if you have health issues or not, realize that if you have asked for healing, and you've asked many times, and God has not healed you yet, He's also telling you that His grace is sufficient for you, and lean into that because He is all-powerful, and He can heal us at any moment, but if He has not done that yet, He's declaring to you that He will be enough, and I can't say that loud enough, even for myself, because we need that every day. We need Jesus, and without Him, we're nothing. I so. just, that's amazing. When you had said that earlier today, I was, yeah, it really spoke to me that God is declaring that, and instead of you just battling, because I think you had talked about how you wrestled with that some, mm -hmm. yeah. when you see healing in other people's lives and not your own, and you sometimes wonder, is it my faith, mm -hmm. and all kinds of other you things. You can almost so. feel like a victim, right, you know, exactly. in some ways. Yeah. And so, yeah, but, I really appreciate yeah. that. It's been a pleasure having you on, and thanks for yeah. agreeing to this. Yes, you're so. welcome. All right. I hope you enjoyed this interview and meeting my friends. And um, yeah, by the way, I am out on my front porch. I just did a front porch makeover, which is amazing. We're having the most beautiful weather. And I can't wait to show you. I actually made a quick little video of that. Hopefully that'll be up before too long. Um, and it's just love to sit out here and watch God's beautiful world, drink my coffee. If you leave a like and a comment, it helps push this video out a little bit more to other people and get recommended. That would be wonderful. And also, I know I keep saying this in videos and I'm feeling really bad. I was hoping by now I would have told you guys what the brand thing is that I'm working on, but it is just taking forever. I don't know. And finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go. It's gonna take however long it takes until we can announce this. So for those of you that have been kind of wondering and waiting and had subscribed to my mailing list to find out, and I still haven't let you know, I'm sorry, I'm still working and working and working at this. So one of these days, it will be finished. So anyway, you can subscribe to my mailing list if you want over at themennoneightmom.com. And that way, if you don't want to miss videos, I send out an email every week to let you know a new video is up or if it's not, and just give you a little peek into what's going on. So that will be down below. Bye, until next time. Okay, Here. no, it's fine. I've never okay. done this, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I'm like, I want to do stuff that's hard, like not easy, you know, like yeah. I want to stretch myself. So that's okay. what I'm doing. Well, I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I haven't done this for a while, so yeah. I'm even feeling uh, a little bit weird. Yeah.